hi guys welcome back this game uh the battles in this game are getting quite a bit more difficult a couple episodes ago i think we got our first d rank because we weren't paying enough attention to some hunters that were attacking our base and in the last episode we got our first and hopefully only defeat but with every defeat, we learn something. So we learn to stay the frick away from that Twin Tail EX guy with our uh, Gen 1s. And, well, basically anybody. And as far as Remembrance mode goes, the stories are just flying by. Characters are getting cleared. And the scene where Iori got into her Sentinel was just uh, so good. <laughs> Like, I was honestly just overwhelmed with emotion. I don't know why. It was just like, it was so good. Did you guys feel that too? What a great game. Amazing characters. Such a good story. I'm having so much fun and I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys will enjoy this episode today. Have a good one and see you in the comments. Let's do Sekigahara next. Using the message he obtained through the message service, Ace Sekigahara met up with Natsuno Minami and Yuki Takamiya. A message from his friend revealed that Sekigahara has been working with Tetsuya Ida. We'll get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. Wrong way. Let's head to the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. Which one's the SIU building? See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. H hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's... dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonomi shot him. Well, she definitely shot him. Uh, I suppose I'll find out when I get there. Oh, shit. Come in. Um I know you're there. Um So you came. You've been using the drone to monitor us, haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. Is it Shinonome? Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Oh. Well, he's not dead. And hurry. I'd like to give you a proper welcome. Just watch your ass in there. Okay. Let's head over. Let's see what Mr. Ida wants. Oh, what happened to these guys? What the... Well, they're knocked out. Eikun. He's an and is Ida an android now? He backed up his he 
backed up his consciousness or something in case something happened to him. Drop the gun. Now. Fuck. Drop the gun. See, I knew somebody like Tetsuya Ida would not go down that easily, you know? being shot. You were an android this whole time. That's not true. I did die. I simply copied my memories onto this android. Yep. Just in case something were to happen yep. to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You plan to perform another loop as an android? Don't be a fool. I've already saved my data to the evacuation area. So you're having the android do the dirty work. When it comes to making sure I end up in the next world, there's no one I trust to get the job done more than me. Release Fuyasaka. She has nothing to do with this. No. If anything, her existence poses a threat. And as it turns out, you have no intention of keeping our promise. You know I lost my memories. How do you expect me to keep a promise I don't remember? Perhaps this will ring a bell. So, how did it all go? Taking care of anyone standing in your way, I hope. Well, you can relax. Ryoko and I did what we needed on our end. We've already backed up your data. Next time, when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsuya Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Hmm. Sounds like a real moron. <laughs> He's like, you know, I'm kind of glad I lost my memories because I was a real douchebag. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I'd long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way. <gasps> okay, fuck this guy. Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. She abandoned the idea of starting over again, and she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? Wait, what are we- where are we going with this? Shihiro Morimura's objective. One with great implications, especially for those from another- If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave the- Oh, here. Oh, I remember clearly. I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. Oh. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. <laughs> this is so intense. Oh. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. <clears throat> you look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. 
What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. Operation Aegis. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. Then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. A satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. The real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. So, from the outside world, outside of the simulation, she's learned how to access that information. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. What's Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. Alright, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. Oh, that's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time, Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. Hmm, but why? This is our last chance. So without Sector Zero, the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here, though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. <sighs> if what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Because... Sekigahara-kun. Because? Tell me. Why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. Do you want to know what happens? Yes. Sorry guys, I'm just like trying so hard to make sure that I am paying attention to every bit of dialogue, <laughs> even though it's like, it's hard to keep everything straight and remember every little detail and connect every little detail the way they're supposed to be connected. I've already done my research on you. You're the one who was hired to kill me. In case you couldn't tell, there isn't much left of humanity. Just the 10 people in this little colony. Ten people left. It's a bit fruitless to kill for money at this point. Don't you think? I've done my research on you as well. And I'm very thorough when I research my targets. There's nothing you can hide from me. How menacing of you. Intimidate me all you want, but you're not leaving that room. Professor Chihiro Morimura. In order to raise research funds for Project ARC, you partnered with several questionable organizations. You then sold nanotechnology on the black market. And that, that's the source of the infection on the surface. <sighs> sold nanotechnology on the black market, and that's the source of the infection on the surface. Of the Earth? I didn't intend for any of this to happen. 
your voice is trembling. Can't say I blame you. No one will believe a word you say. Oh, I don't plan on telling anyone. This is for me. I never want to forget this moment. The moment humanity's traitor stares death in the face. Yo, he's scary in 2188. So he just humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection. And it was all my fault. Sekigahara-kun. You're in bad shape. At this rate you'll <gasps> Huh? She's the one who sh who kills her. Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one Chihiro Morimura. Y you're... And that's me. Ha! Morimura said quite a bit before she died. So... It just must be like... I don't know, another... Morimura from another loop? Or something? I don't know. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector Zero. That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset. And that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite of the real world. It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the Kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. Isn't the real world already fucked? Like... That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time, and no one will be able to loop again. Satellite, Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be. But satellite, Tony, Seki, go. <sighs> Bye, Ida. Guess you're okay. Fuyusaka. Aikun, is it over? My past is. But as for our future, for our survival, this is only the beginning. Do you think, um, maybe this is the beginning of something else too? Okay, girl. Can we save the world first before we think about this? Yeah. I think it is.
Yusaka's the one piloting it. She's always so sincere in her actions. And that Sentinel number 17 behind her. What is he? Second, even third generation Sentinels. Twelve in total. That bastard. He's gathered quite a few participants for his game. That enhanced first gen model. It must be Sentinel number 11. I'll give it a shot. Do it! Do it! Ooh. Oh, we obtained some mystery files. Interesting. Okay. Okay. In order to raise funds, 2188 Morimura sold nanomachine technology on the black market, which led to the infection on the surface and the end of humanity. Okay. Well, you fucked up, Morimura of 2188. You fucked up bad. When the kaiju appear in 1985, Sekigahara rides his motorcycle to the battlefield where the 12 Sentinels are gathered and activates the enhanced first gen model Sentinel number 11. Uh, the assassin A. Sekigahara was trapped in a room by Morimura while infiltrating Sector 4 but managed to escape by setting off a bomb at the power generator. He then seeks out Morimura to finish her off. Oh, okay. So he had to set off the bomb in order to escape, in order to fulfill his mission. But also, like... So she... She fucked everybody back on the surface, and he fucked everybody in the satellite, is what I'm get getting from this. Because they... They didn't have any power left for the life support after that. Something like that. She is responsible for the murder of Ms. Morimura. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Morimura learns from a 2188 log that the 2188 Morimura is responsible for the end of humanity. Fearing that the others will discover this truth, she discre discreetly deletes the log. Well, it's not her. It wasn't her. I mean, it's a version of her, but it's not her. Moreover, when Morimura links up to the artificial satellite in orbit, she founds, finds out that the stability of the facility, which is responsible for maintaining the world, is at its breaking point. She then decides to set Operation Aegis in motion to completely wipe out the kaiju, even if it means stranding them all in a dead world. Tetsu Ida, he saved his consciousness into Sector Zero to prepare for the next loop. Well... We all know how that went. Aegis system. When all self-defense systems within the sector are activated, the city will be cut off from universal control, which results in chaos and the disappearance of all residents. When all the self-defense systems of the terminal are activated, everyone in the city will disappear. Commercial district. The headquarters of the Special Investigations Unit is located on the top floor of the building next to the Aoi police station. Colony in satellite orbit. This is where Project Ark began for the sake of continuing the human species, but is also the source of the nanomachine infection that wiped out humanity. In 2188, Aseki Gahara infiltrated Sector 4 and set off a bomb on its power generator in order to assassinate Morimura. Artificial satellite in orbit. This is where the automated factory in Sector 1 is pulling the blueprint data for the Dimos from. So the artificial satellite in orbit is different from... The other... Oh, the colony satellite. I guess, maybe, I don't know. 
Sector Zero. Unlike the other five sectors, this one is unique as it doesn't take up any space. Since it's unaffected by loops, Morimura and Tetsuya Ida used it as an evacuation site where they stored their own data. Facility. A facility that houses the entire world. Its stability is reaching its breaking point. When Sector 4, 1985, gets taken over by Kaiju, the facility will reset, preventing any further loops. If this were to occur, the reset would wipe all data, including any memories stored in Sector 0. The lives that everyone has experienced through time would cease to exist for good. Cryptic note, these are the numbers for the message service in 1985, which Asa Kigahara entrusted to Morimura before he lost his memories. Brown envelope, Tetsu Ida was the one who instructed Sekigahara to kill Morimura. Okay. So Morimura was ta- I mean, Sekigahara was tasked with, um, uh, assassinating Morimura <laughs> twice by two different people, in a sense. The 2188 version of him was, um, asked to do so by Goto of that time. And Tetsuya Ida in this, uh, in this world, or whatever. Okay. Alright. Who's next? Okay, we've cleared all the ones that we had available. Now that we've unlocked wave 10, we can do these ones. Okay, let's start here. Natsuno, Minami, and BJ arrived in 2025 to go to the UFO. However, Ryoko Shinonomi suspected that she was working alongside 426 and snatched BJ away, leaving Minami stranded and unable to return to 1985. Yet we learned from Yuki's story that Yuki um, eventually found her. Cool. Yeah, cool. This should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17 to you, Natsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Oh. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Okay, but... Now, you know, from now on, Sentinel number 17 will be... Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot, and I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything... I should be the one fighting. BJ. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Now to know. It's time to activate. Okay. Do that. It. It 
disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? No. BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. I knew it. I knew he wasn't like he he had to like you know whatever. Delete his own memory data or whatever. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. Mm. He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ. No. Don't cry, Natsuno. Don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. Ugh, I don't like that this game is ending. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ugh. That got to me. That got to me. <laughs> oh. Minami changed the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17 on the Sumeri uh, Sumer Bridge. At the same time, BJ erased his own mind in order to free space for Sentinel number 17's log data. For the sake of BJ, who entrusted her with Sentinel number 17, and it's log data. Minami makes up her mind to face the kaiju. Ah, <sighs> BJ. While transferring all logs from 2188, this from Sentinel number 17 over to a storage, he deleted his own AI in order to free up enough space. Sentinel. In order to become a Sentinel pilot, was one must be injected with nanomachines that enable command of the Sentinel and be registered as the pilot for that Sentinel. That's it. Remembrance is at 85%. Alright, let's go down the line, all the people that unlocked, um... And when we cleared wave 10. Well, well. Okay. Uh, Tomi. Using the underground gate, Tomi Kisaragi and the others returned to 1985, but Miwako Sawatari was nowhere to be found. Right, okay. Tomi is only 75%. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens then. Okay, well, there's Miwako. Usami-chan, I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? That's the same thing you said before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. <sighs> so... She's still here, but she doesn't have any memories of what transpired, I guess. They deleted that, whoever they are, to, uh, because she knew too much. Oh yeah, we went way deep underground. You were freaking out. You've got to remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Um, no. <sighs> we went to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. 
I've never heard of Ruined Future. What kind of shop is it? <sighs> All right, Miyuko. Tell it to me straight. In the last few days, did anything big happen? Well, I got some ice cream and I saw a really cute guy, but I didn't find out his name. <laughs> anything at all? In the last few days? Oh, let's see. Hmm, something big. Oh, I know. You remember? Three days ago, we moved classrooms from the old building to the new one. And that was so sudden. I could hardly believe it. <sighs> Is that not it? No. You seem disappointed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. See. She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like her memories were rewritten, as if she never went there at all. As the school marked as absent those days, but she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Hey. I'm glad you remember, at least. Miwako has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinonome-senpai, she doesn't even remember my face. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom? The people of my city? Maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. Dumbass, you'll die. <laughs> Dumbass. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? If we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai, she was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh, I know! Sekigahara-kun! I'll find him and- Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? And you know... If you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. I guess when you put it like that... Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. But still... I love how they connect these things in such unexpected ways. But... I don't understand what this means. Like, I don't understand. We can't be in his memory loop right now, right? That would mean, wouldn't that mean the Tomi Kisaragi we've been playing this whole time is just the, the Tomi Kisaragi in his head? Now that I think about it, why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up. Or did o Okino just take something from, like, reality <laughs> and use that as, like, a blueprint for the loop? Go ahead and die for all I care. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. <sighs> So that's how it is. So what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, all right? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own.
Are you following me? Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. I think it's about time we settled our shit. Hey now! Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You wanna say that again? Say it to my face. Come on! One last beat down for Wajima, right? Why not? It's only a taste of what you deserve, asshole. <laughs> the train's already here. Oh, whatever you want. Keep waiting around like this. We'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. A few weeks later. <sighs> another day, another waste of time. There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh. oh, stop it, me! If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least... That's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Um... In the far-off future, Shikishima planned to colonize other planets. And the Kaiju were tools for terraforming the surface. What are they doing here in the past? Orimura. Megumi. Were they planning on fighting those things? Yep. Shikishima's a conglomerate with political ties. They made it big during the Meiji modernization. You always see their branches on Employer of the Year lists. Back in the Meiji era, they were shipbuilders, but they expanded into aviation and a bunch of other things. During the war, they did a lot of weapons R&D. And now they make everything from home appliances to rockets. Shikishima Industries is just one of those branches. Their machinery is known all over the world. Um, what do we do? Shiki Hello? What? Always... No. Um, oh. Here we go. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Huh? Oh shit. Whoa. Here we are, 1985. <sighs> do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. Oh, so this is where she meets up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally found my inn. So... You there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino-kun. A guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right? Uh... Now then. Won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. Damn! 
Okay. What did we update? Here we go. Miwako. Sawatari has no recollection of the time she got left behind in the 2025 ruins. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, she's locked again. Okay. Oh. Let's go. Let's just keep rolling down the list, I guess. Shu Amiguchi was shifted into a sentinel that appeared out of nowhere and ended up in outer space. When Amiguchi returned to the surface, Tetsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. All right. Yeah, that Tetsuya Ida, motherfucker. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. How about some battles? Um, I have to do some stuff with Juro before I can do battles. Maybe I should do that. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name. So, well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different. We've heard this. The way Miyuki and Abba tells it. Mm, it. What's new here? In my dream. Nothing. Miyuki and Abba. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Of course. The last one I checked. Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No. Wait. I'm the one who approached her. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey, maybe this isn't so bad after all. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. <laughs> huh? Shukun, please help me. He knows I'm here now. He? He's going to try to have me eliminated. What? Wait, wait, what do you mean eliminated? So much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know, but I had to hack my way in to reach you. My connection won't last long. When you say he, you mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Oh, that fucker. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it? What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. You're talking about kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The sentinels were built to fight those kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There's a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier. Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. It's been so long because it's been three weeks since I, like, played since, except for yesterday. So I'm trying to remember. Is she? Is she Tomi Kisaragi? 
Who did he meet in his dreams? I know Tomi was there. I can't remember Shu's dreams that well. I don't know. That's my only guess. Wait. You're not Tetsuya Ida, are you? <laughs> no. She is. Inaba Miyuki. Miyuki. Oh, are you Yuki chan? No, I'm not Yuki chan. <laughs> you really don't know. I do know. I'm pretty I sure I know, you. but. <laughs> when you hear the wrong responses. Okay, okay. I, I know, I know. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that song from my dream. You don't mean you're. You finally realized. Yo! Why didn't I put this together sooner? Well, I was. I know that they're like the only two that are. We know of that are outside the. Out, on the outside, you know? And Tomi was a singer, right? That Tomi. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart, just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me, but a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore. Just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Oh no! He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. And now that I know... Like... She sounds just like her, you know? But I didn't put two and two together before. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel ins- Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Yep. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. And I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Time to go. Oh, shit. Any sudden moves and I shoot. What, you think I'm 426 now? Oh my god, Shinonome, why? Why? Why do you always do this? Shinonome, senpai. Now what? what? How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Were you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. Huh? Oh, now she's listening. Sounds like we're on the same side. Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? 
You mean piloting a Sentinel did all that stuff to you? You know, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him, but he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a Sentinel's the only way to shift in. It's just up ahead. Man, there's still so much I don't understand. Wait. Are you okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. <laughs> it's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. She's been reaching out to me, using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Ah, there it is. Kind of hard to hide one of these, you know? It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. What about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. Yeah, but he doesn't remember that part. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Are we ready to do this? Activate? So I just swipe it like this? Yes! Go shoot! Go! from number 14. There should be a maintenance hatch somewhere. From there, I could set the shift destination. Okay, let me look. I found it, I think. Where is it? In the back. How's it looking down there? I've set the shift destination. Now you just need to confirm it. Okay, here we go. This thing better not let us down. Is she just like holding on somewhere? That doesn't seem safe.
Yuki! Freeze! Uh-oh. Any closer and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then, you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> no. Tetsuya Ida is a little bitch. And Shu is not that. Sorry. But it's true. Yuki-chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go. I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah. I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. Yeah, thank God. We don't need two Tetsuya Idas running around, okay? A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki Inaba. So here you are at last. Oh, uh, he found her. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Mirakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? Even if I did, you wouldn't listen to me. Not the way you are now. Mm -hmm. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. She didn't know me! Why are you acting like you still care? About this asshole. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Edekun, I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer, and I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Uh, she tried to tell him. Four shut down Sentinel number 16. Don't! Fuck. Bastard. Fuck you. She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Hey. Really? That's my girl. Mmm. Oh, 
I hate the way he talks to her like that. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Like she's a puppy dog. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, all those nights in the lab, you weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me. I'd never use a girl as some tool. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh shit. Stop right there. Oh shit. Don't move. Oh Damn fuck. Hamiguchi kun. Hurry. Right. Uh, right. What do I do? You hurt Yuki-chan? Hamiguchi. Hurry. We don't have we don't have time. You can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of, ah, uh... Takamiya-kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch, Yuki-chan, don't risk it. <sighs> if we could hurry this up, audit, sir. Well, they vanished. Did they shift? Yuki. Now what are you going to do? A few hours later. So this goes He's there. hanging out with the suits. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, you want to do this yourself? Be my guest. Keep it cool. He's doing fine. <laughs> Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing, but I'd have no idea how to get us home. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here. Deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. <laughs> Sound about right? No comment. Come on, out of the way. <sighs> this is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? Somebody's coming back. Or no. hello? Oh. It just started moving by itself. Ah. Minami? Ami Gucci kun? The data you get. Men in black. To the final battle. Okay. Shit, we're running out of time, guys. Okay. Amiguchi, who is genetically identical to Ida, was having Ida's memories from between ages 16 and 26 transported, transplanted into him by Morimura. 
Moreover, Ida bought, brought the infant Amiguchi to Sector 4, the 1980s, and placed him into the Amiguchi family. Tetsuya Ida, he's genetically identical to Shu Amiguchi. Like, we knew this, like, at the beginning of the game. Come on. The grown-up version of Tomi Kisaragi from Another World. Back when she used to stream her songs on the internet, Tetsuya Ida was a regular in her chat, going by Fate. His support and encouragement pushed her to get serious about her singing. In order to evade universal, universal controlled surveillance, she sang on an unmonitored broadcast and managed to connect with Shu Amiguchi through, this, through his TV. She had, oops, she had Ida install her into Sentinel number 16 as its AI. Okay, Sentinel. Similar to a shifter gate, the Sentinel is capable of traveling between sectors. It has a maintenance hatch like the Type 98 bipeds, where one can set the shift destination. The pilot must confirm the shift in order for it to happen. Universal Control. It's linked with the surface through a region called the Terminal. There are two terminals that have been analyzed, Sector 1 and Sector 3. Out of the two, the terminal of Sector 3 is the only one that allows access to the mainframe. Right, right. Okay, sounds good. I should read Tomi's file too. In 2024, she uploaded a video titled Inaba Rabbit on a video sharing site showcasing her talents, talented singing skills. I don't think that's new. Oh no, but it was a clue. Okay. Inaba. Oh! <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Yes. Inaba Rabbit. That's where she got Miyuki Inaba. 